In this splendid tutorial I will show you how to colour grade a video clip. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing and rendering videos in Blender. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description for, below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, well I've gone ahead and brought this clip into uh, Blender and it's got quite a few issues uh, white balances out and everything so it's not, it's not a brilliant clip but it's it's quite a good one to work with so in Blender if I was going to do some color grading what I would do is first before doing anything set it up so I got something I could work with so first of all there's a little folder that says editor type top left hand side select this and then select video sequencer and come up and select sequencer and then preview and then look for the little box that says display mode select this and then select chroma vector scope now what this will do I'm just going to drag this edge out a bit what this will do is tell you what you can already see that it's very biased towards the blue so I'm going to just drag this down so that I get a reasonable view on the video. And also, I'm going to drag this panel out. Okay. So making sure you've got your clip selected the first thing I would do is actually go into the modifiers and then select add strip modifier and select white balance and this actually gives you a color wheel option if you select the white strip you get a color wheel so I'll show you two ways of, um, sort of sorting out some of the colors using this color wheel so the first one, and it, the easiest one, if you've got some white in your video, select the eyedropper, and then just select an area that you know to be white, and this will improve matters no end automatically. So I'm gonna, then you can do this at any point where the colors change, but I know this changes quite a bit at the end of this video so what I'm going to do is if you look towards the end of the uh, white value bar there's a little dot and it says animate property so I'm going to select this and I'm going to come over to the end of the clip I'm going to select the color bar select the eyedropper and reselect the white area and come back down again select the eyedropper and select the area again and then make sure you've got a keyframe on this little sort of square thing here and what that should do is sort of even out the color from the beginning to the end now that's fine if you've got something that you can work with that's white if you haven't what I would do is again select the white value and move the middle dot towards the prevailing color in which case blue until you get a color that you're happy with you can also use the vector scope to sort of see where you're going so that's not looking too bad again animate property which is a kind of keyframe and go to the end and in this instance yes and go to the end and as you can see the color is biased towards the orange and with the orange yellow section so what I would do is at frame one come up to render 
and then make sure you select render image then select image and then save as go to the place where you want to save your image in this case it's going to be desktop and unfortunately I've already got one frame I've saved on something else so I'm gonna to have to call this something else but you could call it F1 so I'm gonna call this F1 I don't know a that'll do and save the image close this down and then come up to the top left and select image editor go to the folder where you've just saved your image and drag it in and now you've got something you can work with so if I go to the end frame and then select this bar again I can try and match the color to match frame one bearing in mind I'm at frame the end frame and I think that looks pretty good this is good enough for this tutorial and again I'm gonna select a keyframe so hopefully not perfect but that will do so I'm just gonna go back into the um, video sequencer and it should automatically bring up the vector scope and the next thing you may want to use is something called if you select add strip modifier I wouldn't bother with the color balance too much what I would go for is the hue correct we we'll use the color balance later on and what you'll find if you roll your middle mouse you can come down to this area here is you can change the colors and this is where when it comes to color grading or colorizing a video you don't necessarily want to take too much notice of your vector scope you can actually go quite mad and do what you want with this um, so the first thing I'm not gonna I'm only gonna leave this set on S it gets complicated otherwise so the next thing I would do is I tend not to drop colors down I tend to go the other way if you look you can there's some dots along here so if I selected say this dot here on by the red I can drag this up and maybe we'll take this one up here and start colorizing your video to what you think looks quite good so maybe and again this is subjective you can keep playing around with these um, I don't think that looks too bad to be honest with you considering what the original looked like so we'll leave that you can't keyframe these unfortunately but you can keyframe if you go into add strip modifier and then go to color balance you can by right clicking insert keyframes so I don't know if I wanted to make this more towards this side I could drag this over and intensify the colors even more I don't think that really is much of an improvement if you want to reset just right click and you'll see something called reset default value you can also use backspace for this um, so you can play around with these you can place keyframes by right clicking um, you can also lift the colors or drop them down again you can keyframe this and just play around with things until you get the kind of look that you're looking for so that I think is probably as far as I'm going to go you have got other options 
you can play with got brightness and contrast as well so just play around with these sort of options till you get something that you're happy with and I think you'll find that you'll agree with me that this is a, a vast improvement on the original clip I won't go into rendering like I said at the beginning I've assumed you got some knowledge of working in blender so hopefully this helps someone thank you for watching cheers